Welcome to War 9 of Season 25. Uh, I got some fun stuff in this one. <laughs> um, uh, uh, this first fight, this juggernaut, um, not really a big deal. You know, just, you know, MD, you know, it's a mystic. Um, medium boosted. Um, that next fight, that hit monkey is going to be fun, though. Uh, there's really not too much on juggernaut unless he's on kinetic uh transference so i i don't really know why they put him here it, it was kind of like a whatever i didn't really have a strong fight strategy going into this fight i was just kind of like mm, i'll just see what happens <laughs> that's pretty much it um you know if i find out he has md then i'll try to uh lay off dexterity you know go for the reparries you know push him to special two so i, I don't have to uh deal with the um um, you know, constant unstoppable from baiting the special ones. Um, but you can see he got stubborn here, and I was like, "What? That, that's that's probably the one issue with Rolk is um, with XL champs um, like Rolk, he um, sometimes um, has difficulty baiting specials." There, I tried to slow up so I could uh, make sure he didn't throw a special one. And I was gonna. Uh, you know, try to set things up a little bit better, but then I throw this SP3 and something I didn't know happens. And right there, you see the protection still on, the fury is on. I thought the knockdown from the special three counted, and I guess I was wrong. So here he's unstoppable, and then, so I basically wasted the special three, unfortunately. So that's a learned lesson. Uh, knock him down before you throw the special three. Um, you know. Uh, that might just, I didn't read the note, or normally when I take these fights, you know, you don't really, it doesn't really matter that much, but yeah, so that one, it mattered. Um, going into this fight, it's a hit monkey, so, you know, that's the reason he's on this uh, path, you know, with the whole knockdown thing. So you have two choices going into this fight. You can either knock him down and then deal with hit monkey doing the hit monkey stuff or you cannot and then it's just a really long fight well the safe way is yeah, just don't knock him down so yeah th this fight's a um, pretty long one um i maybe should have sped it up but um yeah i kind of wanted to talk through it a little bit because you know i could have used torch here but the thing with that is Torch wouldn't have, um, you know, built up any smolders himself. So, like, I thought about it later. Like, I, I suppose what I could have done is, um, you know, thrown the SP-1 into his blocks, and that could have let me build up smolders. But, you know, how much value would that really be? So, I don't really mess around with the dodging as SP-1. I'm honestly really not that... Um, used to it so i wasn't really trying to go for that um I, on these heavy hitter nodes though you can see he's like really free with his heavy and uh, even trying to repair he's uh really difficult um but you can see here i was just looking at the health bars most of this time in this fight and looking at it like all right um still comparative health i'm doing fine you know i'm not gonna worry about it too much so it's just you know, there's a lot of, like, eh, um, you know, he, I, I don't think he plays with Max Limber, so really, um, White Mags, you know, for Torch with the, um, Parry Stun wouldn't have mattered, but I did wonder if, um, the Parry Stun from, uh, Torch with the White Mags debuff would bypass Hitmonkey's ability to shrug, because it's not a debuff, so I'm not really too sure. If anyone knows the answer to that, you know, go ahead and let me know. Uh, right. But, you know, you'd still, even if you did end up using it and knocking Hit Monkey down, you'd have to deal with the evade, which would still suck. So it's kind of a catch-22. And plus, like I said, I'm not real comfortable evading a special one. So, you know, when you do knock him down, he goes into that, oh, the hunter, the stance, whatever it is, and then his special one becomes a blockable. Whereas here you can see I've been taking it on the block and it hadn't really been a too big of a deal. You know, I've taken some chip damage, but, you know, oh well. Um, <laughs> here's where I was like, 
you know what, I could probably knock him down and just kill him, but then it's just like, nah, nah, whenever I've, you know, been like, oh, I'll just throw the SP3 and finish this off, and, you know, something, something screwy happened, so I was just like, nah, so, yeah, uh, that, that's a really interesting fight when you think about it, and, you know, what is the best strategy for a hit monkey? like, I think not, I think like that, just doing it really safe, not knocking him down, and just, you know, don't mess about with it, and just use it, just do it as a long fight. Um, going into this fight, um, I did this fight not on this node, but I, yeah, it was on the Aggression Fury one. So I had to change things up there. Uh, you have to do a specific combo, start with a heavy, then medium, medium, then medium, light, 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 and then SB1 because of the whole Matador thing. Well, I don't have that concern on this one because all it is is you lose power gain. I was like, well, I don't really care about that. Um, so here I am just medium, light, heavy. Like, I, you know, but, pre-fight um white mags just you know makes this real simple and you know then i messed up and took a little hits to the face but you know it's fine it's a five star korg it's not going to kill me uh, i was really trying to avoid um triggering the dexterity mastery um to bait his special so there he finally you know he threw it you know nice and easy so i didn't have to deal with you know any you know questionability um so that was really nice and so you can see he went down nice and easy uh then going into this fight um it's sinister anyone who has d done abyss sinister with torch knows how easy this fight is basically just don't screw up and miss evade the sp1 or if you're afraid of that just block the darn thing like don't worry about oh you know just don't worry about it um i can't remember whether or not i screw up and screw up the evade or not though so we'll see um but yeah um so actually the, the you know this fight you know a anyone who's fought abyss sinister you know with torch knows quite well it's really easy like because even as he's throwing those um incinerates back on you there's um now oh, that was a missed repair i was wondering what happened there oh e that's where i lost my health yeah, that, that was kind of ugly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I lost a little confidence there, and so I... Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, this fight's a little uglier than I remember. <laughs> like, ooh. Um, oh, well. It, it's still Sinister versus Torch, and, you know, he's dying. So, cool. All right, I got through that. Um... So then going into this fight, I'd been talking some smack with Bryn. And, uh, you know, he was talking about how, um, you know, uh, Quake is better for Dragon Man on Node 49 than Rolk. And I, I can't remember if I talked about this last video or not. So going into this fight, you know, it's part of why I used the 30% uh, boost is, and the uh, White Mag's guidance is like, I was like, eh, I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> I talk smack talk smack get hit that's normally what happens so i was like I, I i need a nice clean you know everything smooth fight and there i see he's got light md so i'm not worried about md now the uh heavier the md uh really the more the concern is um here uh you can see he's not baiting so i don't want to get cornered so um yeah i'll, I'll hit into the block and then, you know, that's about all there is to that. And you can see, like, if you start baiting whenever he gets to an SB1, like here, then you can get away from it just fine. Um, and he normally will not hold from one bar all the way to um, three bars. Now, this is where things got a little bit squirrely. And you can see there, if he would have thrown a heavy, I would have been in trouble. And the thing is, is if you saw I was at two bars of power, if I'd used a sp special one boost, then I'd have been fine. So uh, that's the reason I prefer the special one boost is it like if you do get into that bad spot, you know, it you should be close enough to a special three to be able to get yourself out of it. But yeah, I got through it just fine. So I'm happy. And there's Bryn, number one MVP. He's, he's just a beast. And we won. So it's all good. <laughs> My deathless streak continues. Yay. Uh, up to 39 now. Uh, my TDR, my power rating is up to 49.6. So 
It's one of my hires, Nine Wars In, so been a really good season so far for me. As you can see, uh, in my BG, I'm still with a lot of studs, so I'm like barely holding on to like that four or five spot. And I think there's like three people within like a couple points of me below me. So like one death and I'll, you know, I'll beat it down to like eight or nine. And then overall in the, uh, for Loki, I'm doing pretty good at 13. So I, you know, I can brag a little bit, just a little bit right now. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit, uh, that I'm doing well so far, but we got three more wars left. Yeah, I'm probably going to eat it on one of them. <laughs> it's normally what happens. Y'all have a good one.